and Dr. Sean Keller. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about bite treatment. Uh, I'm especially passionate about it because how it changed my life. So you're going through it right now or considering it. So let's talk a little bit about me and what I went through. Um, many restorations done over the years. I was having migraines, headaches. Uh, it went down my neck, I, it, especially the right side. Like I had like, it felt like a racquetball right here all the time. Went down my back, I had hip pain, and it even went down to uh, sciatica into my heel. And I um, had been to acupuncturist, chiropractor, massage therapist, surgeons that were getting ready to operate. They said they didn't want to touch my back. I'm very frustrated when I learned about bite treatment that it, maybe it had something to do with that. I was very excited. So decided to get my um, bite taken care of. So when I look at my little bot, um, model here, um, the jaw can close on a nice hinge and an arc and the joint has plenty of space around it. It's sure nice if we can hit on our back teeth and where we chew fits with where the muscles want to be and where the joint wants to be. So on me, when I went to close on a nice arc, clang, I was hitting on my front teeth. I didn't notice it. I had adapted so I had learned to have my jaw pull back. So here's kind of my bite. What would happen is um, I didn't feel like I was hitting on my front teeth because my body just pulled the jaw back like this. So you can see that was my bite and um, I, I, it was not very comfortable to chew but I didn't know any better and by pulling the jaw back like that I was getting the neck pain so my head came forward a bit and it was worse on the right side so I had all these symptoms on the right side. And so we ran the scans. We put the little EMG stickers on my muscles and saw, yeah, the muscles don't look good in that position. So using the computer, found out the exact correct position where to put it so that the muscles looked very relaxed like that. So once these readings within a micron, we could figure out my right way that it should be. Then we used the computerized scanning. So put the jaw on the computer and in three dimensions, we could see the arc that my jaw wanted to close on without having to aberrate to fit to my old bite. At that position, we made what's called the fixed orthotic. So that's what, that's what this little piece is, is it fits on my bottom teeth and glued into place temporarily. Only there for maybe a few months, but it just kind of glues on top there. You can pop it off later if you want, but you just put it on there so that you can close right where you want to. And it almost tricks your, your muscles and your joint into being in the right spot. So I learned it very quickly. It felt more comfortable. Fits right on top of your bottom teeth. I didn't know it was there other than when I bit into it, it made my jaw go to a better spot. So the day I put it in, um, maybe I was a little self-conscious about a weak chin. So instantly put it in the right spot. And, uh, and then this extra little bit of skin right here, gobble, gobble, brought my jaw to it. There's the day it went in. So after wearing that for about two months, headaches were gone, neck pain 90% less, and sciatica probably 70% less. And um, I decided I'm in whatever it takes to make this my life so I don't have to wear this anymore. I wanted it. So one option was to pop this off because it is hard to clean around. It's kind of glued in place and you have to water pick around it. Um, so I could have taken it off and relied on an orthotic. So this is a removable version, same exact height, does the same job, but this one's kind of glued in place, more comfortable. This one's meant for long term. I, you could wear this for years. A lot of my patients, I probably have 500 people wearing these and they, they live by them. Like when they take it out, this happens and they don't like it. So they, they like this, the support that it gives them on their back teeth in a balanced way, very comfortable for them. I didn't want to have to rely on this if I lost it. So I had so many restorations on my back teeth, the same height that this was, I just had the restorations replaced with Emax porcelain. And it's very, very strong. It's meant to last a lifetime if I take good care of it. So I had that on my back teeth and I'd always, I was tired of bleaching and I, did, and I always wanted a brighter smile anyway. So I just decided to have the front teeth done with the same type of porcelain all at the same time. So a full set went in. Most people don't have to do that. Just by doing some of the lower back ones, that's enough. But for fun, if you want to do those other things, go ahead. And so I had my teeth done and I've got my veneers the same color. I always wanted it without having to bleach and it's very comfortable so that when I chew and eat, it's, it feels great. And I know that it's going to last a lifetime as long as I take care of it. So anyway, that's what you could do, but there's many options along the way if you choose not to go for the full thing. Orthotic, braces, maybe just some of the back teeth. Um, point is, is get the muscles balanced, get things hit in the right way, and all the problems that happen in our mouth will be a lot less over time. Mm -hmm.